Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about Pokemon Legends Arceus and the topic of leaks. Now, for those of you who are not aware, in the last week or so, the full game Pokemon Legends Arceus leaked online and it has been completely data mined at this point. Anything that we want to know about this game, we know if you want to do a little digging. This is an interesting topic because, as I've said before, I'm not covering the leaks on my channel, and in this video, I'm not going to be going over any of the leaks in specific. What I want to talk about more broadly is the culture around leaks and why it seems like it's been the best thing that could have happened to Pokemon Legends Arceus. With that being said, let's jump right into things. As usually happens with Pokemon games, one or two weeks before the official release date, the game gets found on a store shelf somewhere or gets shipped out to someone's home a little bit early, or it falls off the back of a proverbial truck and it gets in the hands of somebody who has an internet connection and the entire thing gets posted online. Eventually, as it usually goes, it gets into the hands of people who can get it onto their computers and the game gets completely data mined for all the information, all of the images, all of the files, Eventually, they get the game running on PCs themselves, and they can play through the whole thing and basically give us everything from story beats to gameplay to music to intros to big boss battles to the ending to everything you could possibly want to learn. What legendaries are in it, what Pokemon are shiny locked, what aren't, what features and Pokemon weren't officially revealed, everything you could hope to know. This happened with Legends Arceus last week. The leaks are everywhere. If you've been on Twitter or Reddit or on different YouTube channels, people are covering it. That's not what this video is. I'm not going to be talking about potential Pokemon that weren't revealed or potential gameplay mechanics that didn't exist in trailers. We're not going to touch any of that. On Friday, that's all fair game. And I'm going to begin my process of going through a bunch of these different things that we're learning about Legends Arceus in discussion videos after that. And in a couple Legends Arceus streams that we're going to have now that the game is out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not going to do a full Let's Play, but we're going to do some stuff. It's going to be good. But the leaks themselves, the culture around leaks, sometimes it does a lot to help a game. And sometimes it does a lot to hinder a game. Sometimes people don't fully know what to expect with a new video game that they love and the game gets leaked and people are disappointed, people are underwhelmed. It leads to a sense of negativity about the experience. This is something that similarly happened with a couple Pokemon games. There was some disappointment when BDSP leaked that there was nothing more than was originally shown. There was some disappointment when Sword and Shield leaked, but then again, there was also some excitement because there were things in it that we didn't necessarily know. Ultra and Ultra Moon and Sun and Moon got leaked and we learned about new forms and Pokemon that we didn't previously know about. This happens a lot. But it's interesting because what I've seen with Legends Arceus is the leak seems to have really helped. People are getting a firm look at what Legends Arceus is and they're not being disappointed. A lot of people were going into this game excited but cautious. Many fans of Pokemon over the last couple years have felt disappointed by the games that Game Freak has been giving us and games that the Pokemon company has been giving us. They've felt that they were rushed or they weren't up to standards or they are going in a direction that they weren't particularly favorable of. But Legends Arceus looked different. Legends Arceus looks fresh. It looks invigorating. It looks like it's changing core gameplay mechanics of the Pokemon franchise that haven't been altered in an incredibly long time. And people were hopeful. There were some concerns, frame rate issues early on with some of the OG trailers that we got back in February and even into the summer. Uh, questions about scope. How big would this game be? How much area would there be to explore? How would it perform on the Nintendo Switch hardware? Because as we've seen with these leaks, it's one thing to get it running on a high-end PC and see it in its max fidelity. But when you're playing it on a Switch, some of those things don't necessarily get captured in the same way. But it appears, based on all of these leaks, and hopefully the reviews that'll be coming out in a couple days, Legends Arceus is going to be a home run title for the Pokemon company. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching this video and hopefully enjoying aren't subscribed to the channel now, of course, as I always mention. Subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe at any time. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. There's going to be a ton of great stuff coming with Legends Arceus releasing at the end of the week. So be sure to subscribe and you won't miss any of it. There's a lot of people in my audience 
who have not seen the leaks, who don't want to be spoiled before they're playing. And I can respect that completely. All I will say is I've seen the leaks. I did a discussion on Dusty Go Goat's channel last night uh, talking about the leaks. Didn't want to have it here on this channel because, you know, I've tried to keep it spoiler free. But I can say without revealing any information, this game looks incredible. All of the elements that we thought we were getting from the trailers, a big open area to explore, Pokemon battles that felt fresh and dynamic, a way to explore the overworld that feels realistic and more lived in. All of these things are happening in Legends Arceus. It feels like a game that's going to be a home run, a game that the wide, vast majority of the Pokemon community is going to absolutely fall in love with and will probably appeal to gamers, Nintendo fans, who don't pick up a Pokemon game every time one comes out. This feels like Game Freak putting their best foot forward, giving this game the time it needed to develop and really pushing it in marketing and in promotion to get people to want to play it. I think this game is going to be awesome. I cannot wait to play it and eventually give my full review on the channel, but I think it's incredible. And it goes back to that discussion point that I mentioned before surrounding leaks. This game leaking really allowed a large large base of the Pokemon community to just let down and relax. They don't have to be concerned that the game they're seeing in trailers is not going to be the game they're going to play. It's not going to overwhelmingly disappoint. It feels like the leaks have created more hype for Legends Arceus than it's ever had. I remember talking to a friend a couple weeks ago, and this is, this is circumstantial evidence at best. It's not evidence to speak to what the greater Pokemon community is feeling. But I said to this friend, I'm excited about Legends Arceus. I'm looking forward to playing it, but I don't feel that kind of raw emotional excitement and anticipation that I usually feel for a new Pokemon game release. Even games that weren't as hyped, like Sword and Shield. As we got closer, I started to feel that that, that buzz that really just gets me. It, it's that emotional feeling of we're finally here. We've been waiting for so long. This game is so close. It's that feeling. And I had it for BDSP. I didn't have it for Legends Arceus until we started seeing the leaks. It felt like it created a fervor in the Pokemon community. So many people who are generally critical of Game Freak and critical of the Pokemon community are looking at this game and thinking, wow, they're blending mechanics. They're adding new things. They're not cutting old things. They're trying different different things. We're getting new Pokemon designs that look really cool. This is a lot of what I've always wanted from Pokemon. That's a great feeling. It's never fun to have a community divided and fighting within itself about something that we all collectively share and enjoy. And for the first time in a lot of generations and a lot of game releases, it feels like most people are pulling in the same direction with Legends Arceus, not even hoping that it's going to be good, but now having high, a high bar of expectations, wanting to feel excited and invigorated and emphatic about the direction that Pokemon is going, excited to get their hands on this game at the end of the week. I did say to my friend who I was mentioning before that probably a piece of the lack of hype for me was just the release date. This January release is always going to feel weird. It's going to feel a little out of place for Pokemon. I don't have a problem with it. There's, you don't have to be married to a fall release date. Pokemon games in North America used to come out in the spring until they eventually switched to doing worldwide releases with Pokemon X and Y. And ever since then, it's mostly been games coming out in the fall. This January release introduces a lot of questions. What does the, the rest of the year look like for Pokemon? Is it DLC? Is it Gen 9? Is it another spinoff? Who knows? We're going to get into that once the game comes out. But for the sake of this discussion, I think the leak did a lot to help Legends Arceus. I think it's given people the ability to be incredibly excited without having to temper their expectations. And it's letting people just feel like a Pokemon fan again without having to be overly critical of every aspect of the game they see. This is one of my problems with gaming culture as a whole, is it feels like for some people in specific communities, you can't just enjoy a game because it's something you enjoy. Because you enjoy it, you have to be overly critical and notice every little wrinkle and flaw of it, and then give your opinion that you enjoyed it. Whereas you're allowed to enjoy whatever you want. You could, you could be playing a video game that 90% of people think is hot garbage, and you could still have fun with it. And that opinion is valid for that person. Enjoyment in video games is subjective. Art is subjective. Video games are art. There are plenty of people who love Sword and Shield and who really enjoy BDSP, and there's also others who are incredibly disappointed. You don't have to mend your own opinion inside your head to one of those two camps. You can have whatever opinion you want. 
And it's just really good to see that for the first time in a while, as I mentioned before, and I know I, I sound like a broken record in this video, a lot of people are collectively thinking something similar and for good reason. It's not because they're being forced. It's not because overall community negativity is leading to people wanting to have that group think opinion. It's because people are genuinely excited for this release. I am. I think it's going to be amazing. I would love to know what you guys think down below. Do you think the leaks have been good for Legends Arceus? Do you think it was necessary to kind of make the community realize you can be hyped for this game. You don't have to temper your expectations because of the last couple of years. I want to know what you guys think. And as I mentioned before, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another upload. We're going to do a ton of Pokemon Legends Arceus in the next week. It's going to be awesome. And if you enjoyed this video specifically, leave a like. It'll help this video get found by other Pokemon fans, and it'll help our discussions reach more and more people. With that being said, I've been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.